First of all, I love talking about failure because I agree with you. I think failure, you know, is your bridge to help you to the success that's going to come upcoming in your life, and you have to go through those failures to get you to be able to cross the bridge to the next place that you're going. I always say that. Um, you know, I had an early failure with my first business was a hat company, a hat shop here in Austin, and I ran that business, worked the shop floor, did every aspect of it from accounting to marketing, uh, worked you know every single day, had a little help from my mom thankfully um, but no matter how hard I worked I couldn't get that business to take off and after five years I had to close it and well, I well, well first of all I thought hats were gonna be the next big thing you know I wanted it to be like 1940 again where everybody was wearing hats and that just didn't work out um, you know people are wearing them a little bit more now but still it just wasn't it wasn't right and I, I, I think that I was so focused on that that I wasn't able to see what really was working and I was making jewelry then uh, bringing it into my hat shop and the jewelry would sell out the day I put it in the case yet I was so focused on the hat thing the hats have got to work that the thing that was working I wasn't even paying attention to and I think that was such an incredible lesson is you know sometimes you have to take yourself out of the day-to-day -day mix and get a kind of a 360 perspective on what's going on and when you do that you can really get a better idea of where your success might lie and that it's okay sometimes to change your course uh, and closing that shop I mean it was beyond a failure. I had lost all my savings. I felt like I had let my family down. Uh, I had to go out and just get a job. You know, the entrepreneur in me felt like, oh, you know, here we go, I've got, I've got to pay the bills. Um, and even though, again, that wasn't what I had set out to do, the lessons I learned getting that job and the opportunities that I had there, all of those things, that experience, the hat shop, uh, led me to be able to build Kendra Scott and have the success that we're having today. I had to do those things to get here. I mean, we were just sitting back, you know, <laughs> chopping it up, reminiscing about the good old days and all that, <laughs> you know, tracking my roots where I came from.